Today, we will go over the tibial plafond fracture, sometimes just referred to as a pilon fracture. A pilon fracture is a fracture to the distal end of the tibia, commonly associated with comminution, intraarticular extension, and significant soft tissue injury since they are most commonly due to a high energy injury mechanism involving axial loading. The injury mechanism typically involves the talus being driven into the plafond, commonly seen in individuals who have fallen from a height or MBC victims. There are typically three major tibial pieces formed as seen here in this image when ankle ligaments remain intact. But make note that there are, of course, pilon fractures with severe comminution, so this fracture pattern is not seen in all pilon fractures. Nevertheless, if you do see this fracture pattern, you are going to want to be at least familiar with the fragments. They are the medial malleolar fragment, which is associated with the deltoid ligament complex, the Volkmann fragment, which is the posterior lateral piece, and the Chaput fragment, which is the anterior lateral piece. These form the classic Mercedes-Benz sign on axial imaging. Tibial plafond fractures account for about 5-10% to 10 of fractures of the tibia. Oftentimes, when looking at operative management, a temporizing spanning external fixator is placed to allow for soft tissue healing and decrease in swelling of the ankle prior to definitive treatment. X-fix might also be warranted for pilon fractures associated with significant joint depression or displacement, and thus you would want to keep the fracture fragments pulled out to lengths. This is typically followed by ORIF, or open reduction and internal fixation. However, you might also see intramedullary nailing with percutaneous screw fixation, or you might even see X-fix as the definitive treatment. But ORIF is most likely what you will see in terms of definitive treatment for pilon fractures. Alrighty, that is all for this quick overview of pilon fractures.